It's Thursday, July 25th, and this is Markets Daily, hosted by me, Jen Sanasi. On this show, we navigate the currents shaping the crypto markets, providing insights against the broader financial landscape. So whether you're actively trading or simply fascinated by the volatility of crypto markets, this show is your compass to understanding what's happened where we are, and where we're going. Good morning, everyone. ETH is not having a great morning today. It's down almost 9% as outflows from the Grayscale Ethereum Trust ETF ramp up. As the products enter their third day of trading, I thought it would be a good time to take a step back and look at an industry once dominated by retail investors, now attracting serious attention from institutional investors. Now, this takes us down the road to boring. And if you ever watch The Hash, which used to be on the Coindesk Podcast Network, it was sunset last year, RIP, you know that the road to boring is one that is stable and predictable. Boring compared to the early days of this industry. But what does institutional investment and institutional interest actually mean? And is boring good? Companies like BlackRock Fidelity and Franklin Templeton are all involved. But why the seemingly sudden interest? Institutions are drawn by the potential for high returns and diversification, and they're investing heavily in digital assets. Their clients are also asking about these alternative assets as investment vehicles. This influx of capital brings a new level of stability to the market, which, as you know, is known for its wild volatility. If you listen to the show regularly, you know that there's a heavy push for clearer regulation in the United States. And that's being underscored by the weight politicians are putting to cryptocurrencies and digital assets ahead of the next election. Former President Donald Trump has called himself the crypto candidate, and many in the industry are waiting on the edge of their seats to hear what Democratic nominee Vice President Kamala Harris has to say on cryptocurrencies. Now, why is this important? Well, institutions prefer operating in a regulated environment, which reduces risk and attracts more traditional investors. Regulatory clarity is crucial for long-term legitimacy and growth in the crypto market. So with so many institutional heavyweights now in the crypto game, politicians have no choice but to pay attention. Now, this trend isn't without its challenges. There's a growing concern that institutional dominance could lead to centralization, which contradicts the very ethos of cryptocurrencies and may present challenges in replicating the very same systems that cryptocurrencies were built to go against. One of the promises of crypto was to bring financial freedom and equality to anyone and everyone. But now smaller investors might find themselves getting pushed out as large institutions can exert significant influence over market movements. I mean, we're seeing that this morning with ETH. Looking ahead, the crypto market will continue to evolve and we'll see the development of new financial products like other crypto ETFs, which will make more digital assets even more accessible to everyday investors. This could serve as a crucial educational entry point to more complex products in their investment journeys. But the balance between innovation, centralization versus decentralization, and regulation will be crucial. Here's my take. While institutional investment is bringing maturity and credibility to the crypto market, it might just be a double-edged sword, cutting away at the core values of centralization and democratization. If we're not careful, we could see the same old financial powers centralizing control over what's supposed to be a revolutionary, people-driven technology. So as exciting as these big moves are, let's not forget the original vision of cryptocurrencies a financial system that's open and accessible to everyone, not just the elite. Thank you so much for listening to Markets Daily today. And thank you for coming on this journey with me to better understand the crypto markets. If you love Markets Daily, please subscribe to the Coindesk Podcast Network on any podcast platform. If you'd like to watch our videos, head on over to our YouTube channel, subscribe there, like this video, give us a stellar review wherever you watch or listen, and we'll see you tomorrow.